Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of Salesforce Reports. In this session, we are going to see uh, what are row level formulas in Salesforce Reports. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started. So before I go ahead and create a row level formula, before that, I want to lay out a scenario for you so that you'll understand that why do we even need to create this row level formula, okay? So this is a report. Uh, which I have. This is created on opportunities. I'm also showing the account names. I've grouped this report by account name and then the rest information is for opportunity, opportunity name, stage, fiscal period and amount. Okay. So now let's say on this particular report, I want to do some kind of calculation and that calculation should run for each and every record of the opportunity. That means that calculation should happen on a record level, on a row level, right? For each row, it should calculate so that means i am expecting to uh, create a formula field right which should run based on whatever the logic i will be providing on the in the formula field so normally what would you do normally you would go to the object in this case you will go to the opportunity object and you will create a formula field right but let's so but but in here right in salesforce reports you don't actually need to go to the object and create the formula field you can create a formula here itself in the report itself so you can save that field creation on the object level all right so uh, that is the that is uh, the benefit of the row level formula that you don't actually need to create the formula on the object level you can create it on the report itself all right and the second point is that every report where you will be creating the row level formula there is a limit you can create only one row level formula per report you cannot create more than one row level formula okay so let's just go ahead and create a very simple row level formula for for this report so let's say in this report okay let me just first include one column of created date so i want to uh, start showing you with the simplest example so let's say i want to calculate the age of the opportunity right so by age i mean so this opportunity was created on 2nd of august okay so i want to see that how many days has it been since this opportunity was created okay what is the age of this opportunity so i'll go ahead and i will try to create a formula for that so in order to create a row level formula you need to search for the columns and here on the arrow click on it and here you will see this option add row level formula so I'll click on this and here let's just say opportunity age. Okay, and this is going to be a number. Let's remove any decimal. And how can you calculate the age? So today's date minus created date, right? That will give you the difference. And that is how you can get the age of the opportunity. So here, let me first include that function of today. Then... Uh, minus and then i want to subtract the created date okay insert and let's just try to validate it expected number date received date time all right yeah so the data type of this field right which is available on opportunity the data type of this field is date time okay but the value that this function returns is of data type date okay so here the data type is date, but here the data type is date and time. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to convert this date time value into date. So basically we are going to use a function that will extract only the date from this field. Okay. We don't want the time. So let's go to the function and search for date. Yeah. This is the one that we should be using date value. Okay. So date value and that field created date inside here okay so today minus created date let me validate <clears throat> all right and let's just apply this so here you can see right the opportunity is it, it is showing three so because this opportunity was created on second okay and today is fifth so if you minus then it is giving you the difference of three so similarly based on the created date okay I think a lot of were created on the same date. That is why it is showing you that kind of difference. But so this is how it is working, right? So this is basically a formula which is running 
based on like you know every row based on the record details it is getting for each and every record okay for every row it is calculating okay so this is one example let's say i want to create another row level formula okay let's just um let's just calculate something else for example uh, weighted opportunity value okay so now just because i have to create another row level formula i need to remove this one okay because right now if i click here you can see this option is disabled right because as i mentioned earlier that you can create only one row level formula field on every report okay not more than one so let's just remove this one and then we'll go ahead and create another one okay here i'm going to show you some of the calculations so let's say uh, weighted opportunity uh, value Okay, so weighted opportunity value is nothing but your opportunity amount multiplied by probability. Okay, and that will give you a number in return. And I don't want to show any decimal places. So here it should be amount multiplied by the probability. Let's validate this. All right, apply. Here, okay. So it is actually multiplying your probability with your amount. I am not showing the probability here, but if you see the probability, you will see that it is actually doing the calculation as per the formula that we have provided. Probability, okay. So if you see right, this was the amount and this is the probability. So it is multiplying. All right. Now, these are the very simple formulas, but let's say if you have any conditional formula, right, then that also you can create. All right. So let me quickly show you one conditional formula. Again, we need to remove this one, right, because we are planning to create another row level formula. So here, row level form. So first of all, let's see like, you know, on what we can create. So let's let's create a conditional uh, formula. Okay. Um, yes, we can create on the stage. So let's say uh, I want to count the opportunities where the stage is closed one. Okay. So let's just go ahead and create one. So row level formula. And here let's say is opportunity closed one. I only want to consider this stage. Okay. And uh, it is going to be a number because it this because the way I, because I'm going to use an if condition, right? So it will either return me true or false, right? That's what it returns. So that is why it has to be a number. Okay. So now here, let's first search for that function. If insert now the first condi the first parameter is logical test. Okay. So what is the, what is your condition that you want to provide? So I want to check that if the opportunity stage is equals to closed one. Okay. So let's just go ahead and search for that field stage field and let's me just put it in the logical test and here i want to put a check on the on this stage value closed one okay and if this is true then i want to display one but if this is false if the stage is not closed one then i want to display zero okay now let's just validate this Okay, stage name is a pick list value. Okay, so for pick list value, you cannot directly put like, you know, do an assignment like this. So you need to use another function called text. Okay, I could have searched it here as well. But I as I remember this, I am just going to use it directly. So text and then surround your pick list value name with this function. Okay, text, then pick list value name is equals to closed one. If this comes as true for any record, then it will populate one. Otherwise, it is going to populate zero. So apply. And refresh. So here, if you see, right? So for example, this opportunity, the stage is closed one. So it is showing it as one. Okay. And this row is nothing, but it is showing the subtotal. Okay. Then let's check for this opportunity here. The stage is qualification. So it is showing as zero and the total also is coming as zero here. If you see in the edge communication account, there are four opportunities. This one is closed one. These three are closed one. So it should show one, one, one. The last one is 
decision maker so it is showing as zero and what is, then what is the total number of opportunities that is closed one for edge communications three right one two three so that is what it is showing so if you scroll down right at the end you can see the grand total okay 12 so that means there are there are 12 opportunities where the stage is closed one okay so this is how uh, you can uh, create row level formulas okay if 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 you have like a conditional statement like you know things like that that then also you can use otherwise even if it's a normal calculation right if you want to calculate like the age of the record or let's say like you know any other date difference that you want to calculate if you want to do any kind of multiplication division or let's say if you want to like a uh, one common scenario that you will see is like you know calculating the expected revenue or let's say like you know discount in some of the cases correct let's say if i want to calculate the discount so that does not mean that i have to go on the object and create a discount formula no i don't have to do that okay i can simply create that formula field here itself using the row level formula all right so um the only thing is that you can create only one per report okay so that is something that you have to keep in mind all right so i think that's it if you want to practice some more scenarios on the row level formula then i think just like you know google some use cases and you can practice more okay these were the very simple examples but i think that you did uh, now you will have a better idea about what is a row level formula just three things okay so row level formula is something when you want to uh do some kind of calculations based on the record like you know that calculation should run for each and every record okay and that is i mean you can just remember it by the name right the name itself is row level formula so if you want to perform any calculations on each and every row then you can create a row level formula you can create a simple formula you can create a formula based on any uh, conditional statements as well okay the last point is that you can create only one on like you know each report okay So this is all about the rollable formula that's it for this session and I'll see you in the next one thank you for watching